Hey, what's going on, Aries? Butch Tarot here. Uh, I'm gonna do your two week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. Uh, all roles can be vice versa for all you cross watchers. Uh, if you're looking for a little more in depth personal read, I offer those on my website at butchtarot.com. Uh, that link will be in the description. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Always feel free to comment down below. And let's get it. What do we have for Aries? What's going on for Aries the next two weeks? What can we see for Aries? What do we have for Aries? Aries. So the first thing I see, Aries, is I feel like there's someone that you're waiting on. And I feel like this, this could be somebody you have dealt with in the past or somebody that you wanted something to happen in the past, but didn't really, didn't really happen. And I feel like you're still waiting for this person because this is the person you feel like you could build that foundation with. Like, I feel like this is that person that This is that person that you know you want. Like you're, you're sure of what you want. And you're willing to wait for it because when the right thing comes along, it's all about being patient. If the time isn't right, like I feel like this is, this is the person that you want to be with. And, and I feel like the time wasn't right before and you know that. But it doesn't mean you gave up. Like, I don't see you giving up here. Like, I feel a lot of hot and cold energy. I feel like a lot of in and out energy. I feel like it was a struggle to get to the point where you realize that this is your person. But I feel like once you realize that, you knew that you were, you were going to wait. You don't want second best. This is the person that you want to be with. You don't want anybody else. I do see communication coming. So I do see this person coming back. So I feel like your wait's coming to an end. Like I feel like we also have that new beginning, that rebirth card. Now what I get here I'm, I'm picking up a strong energy that this person is someone that I feel like there's a lot of fire between you guys. I mean, I feel like you could be dealing with another fire sign because I feel like this person pisses you off. But at the end of the day, you love them. Because this is your person. They challenge you. And I feel like part of that is why they love you and why you love them. And the reason I, I feel like you both love each other is because we got that lover's card. You know, that's all about that Gemini energy. It's all about love. It's all about compatibility. I feel like you guys push each other. You, this person knows how to push your buttons. And I feel like that's why it hasn't happened yet. 
But as we explore and, and, and start to realize that this person, without this person, like you feel out of place. And I feel like it took some time. It took that you taking a step back and that's why it hadn't happened yet. Because it's almost like this person pisses you off so much that how could they be your person? They drive you nuts. But at the end of the day, you realize they drive you nuts in both ways. You love them. They piss you off. They challenge you. But sometimes that's what we all want. Sometimes we want that person that challenges us. We want that person that, 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 that can get under our skin. Because it drives us. And I feel like once you took that step back, you, and you, you see this in a different perspective, knowing that you don't want to walk away from this person. Like I said, I feel like this is the type of person where they drive you absolutely crazy. They piss you off. They get on your nerves, but that's driving you. And I truly see this as, you know, this other person has a lot of fire. You know, it's definitely gonna have some fire in their charts because I feel like that fire, sometimes fire needs fire. We like it. We like people that drive us. We like people that challenge us to be even better because I feel like with Aries, in particular, we want to be the best. You know, we're the first sign. We're, we're, we're the top of that Zodiac food chain. And we need someone that keeps us on our toes to keep us there. With the Three of Pentacles, it's all about that power couple here. Like sometimes, some people need people beside them that drive them that make them want to be more make them want to be better because without those people we feel like we're going to lose ground we feel like you know we don't need that soft person next to us we don't need that person that's going to hold our hand and baby us with fire signs it's all about that drive that passion And I feel like once you realize that, that's when, that's when you realize this is your person. This is the person you want to build with. This is the person, this is the only person you're going to, you, you want to build with. So you waited. And like I said, I feel like the wait's coming to an end. And with that five of pentacles, I, I feel like there was a lot of hot and cold energy because I feel like there's a lot of sparks that fly between the two of you. And that's what kind of worried you at first, but... Once you realized that this person makes you better, that's when you realize that this is your person. Like I said, we not everybody needs that soft person beside them. Sometimes we need that person to kick, to kick us in the ass. I mean, I'm a Sagittarius. I need a person that drives me, helps me stay focused. I don't need somebody that's going to baby me and tell me everything's going to be okay. I don't need somebody that's going to, you know, put me up on a pedestal and, and, and tell me that everything I do is, is gold. I need somebody that tells me how it is and doesn't bullshit me. Somebody that's going to call me out on my shit. And I feel like you were right for nurturing this situation. I feel like you were right for waiting. Because like I said, this person is your person. This person brings that balance, that Sagittarius energy, that temperance card, and it's all about balance. Now, I'm not saying they're, I'm not saying this is all just drive. I mean, there's love here. There's a lot of love here. But different people put love out in a different way. And, and some people, we need that person, the way they love us is to drive us, is to make us want to be better, is to make every day a challenge to be that much better because they see the potential in us. And sometimes we need that person. Some people need that person. And I, myself, I need that person. I do see you getting what you want from the situation. 
you know, that power couple that not only, I, I, like I said, that not, not always being seeing eye to eye with this person is what makes it the, like this person, the person that you want to build with. You know, some people want a relationship where they're, you know, they have their follower. But what I see here is you want that relationship where you have a partner. And not only do I see you getting what you want of this situation, I'll see a lot of happiness. I see like, I feel like the both of you with that, like I said, with that three of pentacles, that power couple, the both of you are gonna make each other better. And that's why this is your person. Because you make each other better. Separate, you're good. Together, you're great. And that's why we got that balance. So we got some Sagittarius, some Leo, some another Aries possibly. There's definitely fire in the charts. There's definitely fire in the charts. Then we have some some air, some some um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Got a, some Scorpio there as well. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like not only is a lot of like the two 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 of the best cards in the deck are here with the Sun card and the Wheel of Fortune. Like I feel like you both that's why you that's why I feel like this is something that has been going on for a while because I feel like it's almost like you tried to separate yourself from this person but for whatever reason it just kept coming back together because you knew at the end of the day you both knew at the end of the day that you were drawn to each other and there was a reason for that. The people that we love the most are the people that have that ability to drive us the most. Have the ability to get under our skin. They know all our buttons. You guys challenge each other. And it works for you. So be good. Take care. Stay safe.